folks, welcome back again. Thanks again for tuning in to my channel. Uh, these bees down here in Southwest Florida are really silly. Today we're over here in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, it's wet and rainy. Uh, the reason why I'm out here today is we're looking at a colony of bees. Uh, these bees have for some reason determined it's safe enough to make home on a pencil cactus. <laughs> it's a newer colony. They arrived probably two weeks ago or so, uh, but they do have plenty of, of fresh clean wax. You can see the white wax uh, very easily. So this is no longer a swarm. This is an established colony. White wax, it's super, super difficult to, to do a cutout. Uh, so these bees just might get vacuumed up um, so I can safely get them relocated. Um, let me show you what I'm dealing with. permission here from the homeowner to go ahead and cut back the brush. Uh, she basically said I can even take the whole cactus and cut it down and take it away with me if I wish. Uh, the concern I have again with this type of colony you'll see how white the wax is. That can pose an issue and make it really difficult in terms of doing a cutout. Uh, that cactus is actually growing in the pot that's inside of that tire right there. I'm going to cut the branches back and then we'll go ahead and at least cut these front limbs off. It's been raining cats and dogs here and I don't know why these bees feel safe uh, but they feel secure enough to stay put. Let me go ahead and see if I can't get these uh, branches cut off. guys so now I got a little more exposed here this is called drone comb you see the the cells that are capped there they kind of look like little bullets and those are the male baby bees so now my next step here is to do the removal but like I mentioned um, this comb is gonna be super super brittle very very light uh, a point of note on cutting cacti I didn't mention the sap that stick that drips off is, is kind of um, very uh, abrasive, but it does wash off easily with, with water. I got a little on my, my hand and it washed right off, so it's not like it's, it's battery acid or anything. It's probably going to rain. I don't know if these bees are going to abscond. I don't know why they're hanging out, but a colony you know, like this here, uh, this is excellent genetics for me to use for my apiary. I want bees that can naturally acclimate to their environment without me needing to take care of them. If anybody spots the queen in this video, please post the timestamp. And if you post the timestamp and it's the queen, I'll try my best to send you a coupon for free ice cream.
without further ado, let's go ahead and wrangle these bees. Uh, I do have my bee vac set up, uh, so everything looks good. Just to let you know, it's so humid and hot out here, I am literally sticking. It's nasty. It did rain a little bit here this morning off and on, so uh, I don't know how much of this video you're gonna get, but I'm gonna try my best to, to show you as much as I can. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut the, the pieces off little by little, and then just kinda surgically remove the comb and see what we're dealing with. If I can save the comb, Absolutely, I'll try. I have some uh, empty frames and rubber bands. I do have an empty nuke, uh, but again, primarily I'm using my BVAC. You'll see again, I have a makeshift shade. I mentioned this in my last video. I try my best to keep the BVAC in the shade when I'm not using it to suck up bees. I just take the top off. Uh, there's a screen over the top there so the bees can't come out, but that helps keep that box ventilated. So let's see what we can do here. And uh, I don't know if you'll see here, can you see the little tiny white little grubs? Otherwise known as larva. And this is worker brood. Worker meaning female bees. So again, I will save this if I can, but I'll set it aside for now. So we're back. Uh, again, sorry I didn't bring you along for the whole ride. We got all of it removed here. Uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rubber band in the two frames of comb. Let me show you.
So we have the nucleus box there with two frames of brood. I'll catch all the forager bees and I'll come back at nighttime and collect this box. And you'll see what I did on the cactus here. I have a paper napkin. Uh, on the paper napkin I doused it with some deterrent so the bees don't like the smell. So the idea here is that the bees that are returning back, they no longer will go to the cactus. I do have the box a little bit of lemongrass essential oil. Real tiny, a little bit amount, and just dab the dab the front of the box and then I put that cotton swab on the top so the bees will acclimate in the air hopefully they'll find the box and uh, we'll call it a day I'll just drape a towel over the top and again I did not find the queen unfortunately for me um, I didn't put my eyes on her kind of an awkward position uh, but it's not a big deal uh, I do have a, a newly captured swarm with a, a mated queen so worst case comes to worse if they do need a queen I'll just unite them with that one and that'll be a great boost but stay tuned, guys. I'll take you along for my progress as best I can. Appreciate all of your likes and comments. And again, have fun with your bees.